Hi everyone, my name is JT Pilot and today we'll be making another review. This time we'll be doing a pretty exciting review as I'll be reviewing a brand new one for a scale model air airplane company's product. And today we'll be reviewing the Aero Polaris WestJet Boeing 747-800. So Aero Polaris is a brand new brand in the one for hundred scale and they were yeah, they were founded by the same people as HYJ Wing, so HYJ ceased to exist, and now they're Aero Polaris, and they have announced, I believe, six new Sunfree Sonar Changers, including this WestJet Sunfree Sonar Changer, a Eurowings Sunfree Sonar Changer, and I believe a Greater Bay Sunfree Sonar Changer, and a few other, few other Sunfree Sonar Changers I can't think of on the top of my head. But most importantly, for my collection, Danny Nazi the WestJet Sunfree Sonar Changer in the new livery, and this is a really great model here. Great for finally as well as the new livery looks great on this aircraft. But this model didn't only come yeah, this yeah, but yeah, but it's not just this model that came with the this Aero Polaris package. They also include a little one four hundred scale airport gate mat there. So that is a that difference differentiates the Aero Polaris brand. So yes. And they also, you get this card as well with a, um, yeah, yeah, solid paper on here. So really good um, paper there. So it is number 47 out, out of, um, I believe, around 150 of these were produced, something like that. A beautiful card that comes with the model as well. But we're, we're backtracking a little bit. But there's some things that make Aeroflares more of a premium brand. And that, that's what we'll be covering in today's review. So... In today's review, I'll be first starting off with the box of the model, then do an in-depth analysis of this model, then I'll be scoring this model with my JT scoring system. Will this be a perfect model? Will this model score a perfect score? We'll have to see. So nonetheless, let's get started off with the box of this model. And starting off with the box of this model, so the Aeroplayers does have a pretty premium box compared to um, the other 140 brands. It does have really good, yeah, premium packaging. So on the front of the box, you have the Aeroplayers logo on the top left there. So really great logo there. You have the WestJet logo in the center. You have the West CHI image of the WestJet 747-800. And on the bottom right of your Boeing 747 Ranger titles, any restoration of this aircraft in the 140 diecast aircraft model logo. Similar to a 1200 model box from Generators, this model does have a Velcro flap, so we can just try to do this one-handed. There we go. It's a Velcro box, and there's a flap inside. And there is the flap there. So you have your CGI image once again, the West Shirt logo, and there's the Velcro up there. And then the inside of the box is really premium, and it's great to see the Velcro. Yeah, this is, yeah makes this makes the you know model a little bit more premium there. So yeah, that's a, that's a theme of this video, premium. Anyways, on the bottom of the box, you have your Airplayers logo and the West Shirt titles. Then there's your right side of the box with the CGI image. Top of the box, the left side of the box, you see some stars there. So that's pretty cool. And you have the back of the box, so you have your Boeing Subfree Search Ender titles, your Aeroplayers logo, and then the underside of the aircraft, the so underside CJ image, that's looking cool. And then you have the limited edition logo, WestJet logo on the bottom left, you have your I number, which is H873800003, and the barcode, and the Boeing officially licensed product. And proceeding onto the model itself, so, yeah, so HYJ, I mean, not HYJ, it's Aeroplayers. I believe uses the NG mold. This looks like the NG mold they may have developed their own some free center change. Well, like not a hundred percent sure on that though. But a lot of characteristics as well. This mold looks like the it just look looks and feels like the NG mold. But I could be wrong, so if I am wrong, just let me know. But yes, this it's such a new brand, I'm not sure. HYJ Wings in the past did use NG mold for the most part, so that is what I'm assuming they're using for this model. So on so start with the front portion of the aircraft, you have your nose code in there, and the P2s and the ports. those are looking great. You have your copy windows, and the probably, I believe, probably Canadian tiles there, so those are looking great. You have your fleet number down there, which is 820, and then you have the nose landing gear, L1 door, the WestJet tiles, and you have your passenger windows looking great. And the WestJet tiles may be a hair too high, but I'm not going to deduct points for that, this is a general observation. You have your bottom antenna there, let's get a little closer. Maybe your landing light, and you have your emergency escape doors, and there's emergency escape halves on the wings. So, and there's your skimmer wing, it looking fantastic there. The bottom skimmer does look better than some of the NG's NG some free center changers. That's really great to see there. So great day. Uh, Aero players did fix on this model. Yeah, perfect size there. That that is the perfect split skimmer wing. 
And then you have your CFM 56 engine looking perfect, they're perfect, perfect. There's lots of detail to it. And then there is your flap, flaps and aileron details there on the wings. Forgot to mention that. So those looking great. And then you have your left skimmer or winglet. And then you have the nav light. You have a few more antennas on top. You have your two bottom antennas. Here you have your sack on box. The registration is Charlie Golf Alpha Whiskey Sierra. Then you have your Sun Free Sun Stranger titles, L2 door. And you have the beautiful West Jet tail looking perfect there. You have really vibrant and you have an accurate as well. And here's the backside of the model. So there's a backside of vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer. These are looking perfect. And you have the backside of the wings looking perfect as well. And here is the bottom of the aircraft. So starting off with the bottom of the tail. So there's the bottom of the tail there looking great. You have your Aero Polaris logo on, on the bottom of the model looking, yeah, looking great. You have your two antennas there. You have your wing landing gear looking great there. Yes, man, this model's finished really well as well. So <laughs> there is the bottom of the wings there. Then you have your registration there, looking great. You have more detailing there. And you have another bottom antenna there. And then you have the nose landing gear. And proceeding on to the front side of this model. So here's your copy ones looking flat out amazing there. Yeah, they're lined properly. They're not slanted either way like on some other, some other models out there. So that's looking great. And here's your left wing there. If I can get the camera to focus in there. There you go. That's looking great there. If you're inside the CFM 56 engines. And then you have the left wing as well. Moving on to the right side of this aircraft. So starting off with the front portion, there is the R1 door. There is a baggage hole. And then pretty much the exact same as the other side I've already reviewed. Just with some minor differences, including another baggage hole. Then there's the R2 door. So yeah. Let's get some final shots of the small event I'll be seeing onto the onto the JT scoring portion of this model review. Alright, so moving on to the JT score portion of this review. And overall, this model received a perfect score, a 50 out of 50 or hundred percent. Air players need on a part in all of the aspects of the model. Um yeah. Yeah, this is this is a perfect model. Um main highlights for me is the mold is fantastic. The um, wings are great, skimmers are great. Um yeah. Mold's fantastic, great quality control. The landing gears are great as well. They roll properly, right amount of aerials. Nose is great shape, tail's a great shape, and then the fuselage has a great shape as well. So overall, it's just perfect. Not much else like I really say, and that's a good thing to say in a model review when this means the model is a great model. Folks, that does conclude today's review. So overall, Air Polaris has so far had a great start in their 1400 business. Um, they set a premium 10 with their model releases. With their models being in perfect condition with excellent molds, great boxes, and extra details like, like that premium card or even a piece of an airport mat, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, so overall, this is a great model. I highly recommend for anybody to purchase this Aeroplarus West at some free zone of strangers. So that's it for this review. I'm JT Pollock. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye.